What's going on guys, this is Pete from I'm Not Driving While Videotaping.com. Hope you guys are doing good. Um, a lot of stuff's been going on uh, with the Men's Health Next Stop Trainer. It was awesome. Make sure you guys check it out. Go to their website, www.menshealth.com. Check out the episodes. They'll be coming out week by week. And episode two just came out again. And uh, episode three will be coming out on Monday, hopefully. But today in the gym just happened this morning was someone for one second maybe maybe I don't even know maybe the whole workout didn't believe that he or she couldn't lift weight over their head now this is a big thing that I struggle with as well and that's self-doubting and making sure you played safe sometimes and really doubting yourself and not, not making sure not really realizing that you have that full potential to be stronger to be better to be uh, a stronger individual and that's what training does that exact moment where you literally have to tell them that you could do this is something that's so valuable having someone believe in you having someone understand that this could happen is what you need in life, okay? Because a thousand people are be like, ah, you should put that down, don't do it, you might get hurt, or, well, obviously you don't want to get hurt, but like, I'll put it down, you're not gonna be able to do it, plate's safe, you know, you should be okay, you just did that weight, so this one will be okay. And that transfers to life, and life, it's a huge challenge. Everything you do is a challenge, and everything you're gonna want to, especially if you want to succeed at, at something else, it's going to be a big, like, step over the line, make or break type moment. and. Just by doing that, that one little thing of giving that someone a confidence to lift something a little bit heavier. And did it with ease. It wasn't even hard. It was pretty simply easy. Could have went up another 10 pounds on each side with those kettlebells. But this goes to show that having a person allow you, give you the, just give you the ability to become great. Someone to give you the ability to become stronger. Someone gave you permission to be better. Just that second. Makes a world hell of a difference. Okay, so that's why you got to set. Like I've been talking about surrounding people. You're surrounding yourself with people that are like-minded. That's why you surround yourself with people that think the way you do. That's why you surround yourself with people that are very goal-oriented into the, into the goal that's relatable to your goal. Because they're going to tell you that it's not going to be easy, but you could do it. They're going to tell you that it's not impossible. It is possible. You could do so many things in your life, but all you sometimes need is to get out of your own brain and all that self-doubt that's been trained in your brain, it's been just conditioned in your head to doubt yourself all the time, that you could do it. Whether it be working out, whether it be some type of dream you have, whether it be, I don't even know what else it could be. But that, that, the motto of one more rep, the motto of one more pound, you know, it transfers to life. So that's the way I always look at working out. Working out is not just about physical appearance and uh, aesthetics. It's about being better. It's about, am I moving better? Am I moving better? Am I stronger? Am I more flexible? Am I more stable? Am I more endured? Can I do better than I was yesterday? Can I do better than I was last month? Am I better than I was last year? Maybe I'm not stronger, but now I'm a lot more pain-free. Maybe I'm, I don't know. But all I know is that sometimes when it's you and the bar and you and the, the metal and the iron and the kettlebell or you and the workout and you're staring at it face to face and you're like in your head, you're just saying, I can't do this, I can't do this. No way we can do this, no way we can do this, no way we can do this. And someone's like, shut the fuck up, shut your brain off, and allows you to do it, you'd be really surprised with what you could do. You'd be really surprised and you'd be very happy. Not only that, now you have a self accomplishment. And like I said, small goals. And that is a small goal that takes you a long way. All right? This is Pete. While my pimple on the top of my head is staring at you guys and talking to you as well, like in Family Guy, hopefully he says something. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Look at my pimple. Dot com. Subscribe up, like, comment, and I'll see you guys later. What would be scary is if you saw a ghost or some type of creepy face pop out from over there. Now that would be creepy. I'll 
see you later, guys. Peace out.